Hey everybody, welcome back. Today is Tuesday, June 25th, and I uh, just got off work about 3 o'clock. I'm um, going to spend some time getting some rest, and then uh, find out what the rest of the day has in store for me. But today is beautiful up here on Lake Superior. Um, we're doing a fairly big job, so I'll be up here until Thursday. Uh, but that doesn't mean the messages stop. We keep going. So here it is. So one of the most encouraging facts of life is that your weakness can become your greatest asset. Kites and airplanes rise against the wind. In climbing up a high mountain, we need the stony crags and rough places to aid us in our climb. So your weakness can become an asset if you will face it, examine it, and trace it to its origin. Set it in the very center of your mind. No weakness such as drinking ever turned into an asset until it was first faith first fairly faced. So am I making my weakness my greatest asset today? So whenever we seek to worship God, we think of the great universe that God rules over, of creation and the mighty law and order throughout this universe. And then we feel the awe that precedes worship. You see, I too must feel awe, feel the desire to worship in God in wondering amazement. My mind is in a box of space and time and it is made so that I cannot conceive of what is beyond space or time, the limitless and the eternal. But I know that there must be something beyond space and time, and that there's some, that something must be the limitless and eternal power behind the universe. And I also know that I can experience that power in my life. That's a really good, um, that's a really good claim, because that power in our life is what we talk about, that power greater than us, right? As you understand them, right? So once you find out what that power is and what it means to you, then you can try to define it or to describe it, but really it's undescribable. It's a, it's, it's a power greater than us. So today we pray that we may accept the limitless and the eternal spirit, and I pray that it may express itself in our lives. And uh, I hope you guys all have a safe and sober Tuesday out there. I love each and every one of you. You know where to find me if you need anything, but until the next time, see ya. God bless.